What is up, Cornucopius Universe? I'm your host, Jake, and I'm here to bring you guys another Kopi Cafe recap over Kopi Cafe number 92. Stay with me. The SPO, or stake pool offering, is going amazing. Currently, the team has already had 16.5 million tokens staked, and they've already done nine blocks. The goal is to continue to grow this pool. Last week, we were given the awesome news of the increase in rewards from 105 to 115% Kopi token rewards through the stake pool. And it's really funny, Josh kind of talked about why that happened, and it was through talking to somebody on Discord. Now, this is something that the Cornucopius team is amazing at, is talking to us as a community and learning what we like and what we want. Last week, we got a lot of information on what it takes to be a Kopi node pool operator. And you need a minimum of eight Kopi nodes in order to be the operator. If you're still wanting to get some, there's good news. There are still some available on base as well as Cardano. So go pick one up. We did also get additional information over the nodes. For each node that you host, you will have two nodes delegated to you. So if you have eight nodes, you get two sent to you. That's an additional 16 more. The team has looked at potentially increasing this number in the future. We have been given awesome footage and information over Solace 1, 2, and 3 and everything that goes into it all the way down to the hand curation on most parts of the map and all the little details of what it takes to make a beautiful map. The team is still wanting to add things to Solace such as life, landforms, paths, sounds, all these things to make much more of an immersive experience. A new team member was just hired on to help create the creatures within Solace. And remember, everything that's created takes a lot of hand curation and has that individual touch. Gosh, they're good. Last thing with the land update is the team is looking at releasing a full scope of the rewards and structure for the land. Now, there's not a lot of information about this yet, and we will get more information as it comes available to us. Which reminds me, if you want to keep up to date with all things Cornucopius, go ahead and subscribe to this channel, follow Cornucopius on X, and follow Cornucopius on Discord. That way, you never miss a beat. The Cornucopius team is going to have a booth at the Consensus Conference in Austin, Texas, May 29th through the 31st. If you guys go, you're going to get to discuss things with them, talk with them, but they're going to have a camera crew getting footage and interviews. Guys, it's going to be awesome. This week's special guest was Scruffy, and he showed up to tell the team a little bit about what he's been working on as well as his team. The quality control team has been testing massive amounts of the Solace maps. You've got to remember, Solace is 8 kilometers by 8 kilometers, and going from end to end, running takes 30 minutes to cover the entire map, and they're going through this with fine combs. The team is covering every square inch of the Solace maps to make sure that they have got all the bugs figured out. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be bugs, but they're making sure that they're catching everyone possible. If you guys ever do find a bug in any of the maps, please report it to the team so they can make sure and they can fix it. Scruffy does give us some of his perspective over the differences with the Solace maps, and he tells us that he intends to own property on each one of the three. We also hear him giving information when it does come down to the epic land rush that he plans to prioritize resources. So maybe that is a smart move. Let's get to the community questions. Question one, would the Cornucopius team ever consider fully leaving Cardano? The answer is no. The team chose Cardano for many different reasons and their goal is to be cross-chain compatible. So no need to leave. Question two, will there be a kid version for racing in the future? There's a lot of things that the team is prioritizing at the moment, but they have talked about it and would like to look at it in the future. Question three, the eight node requirement to be a node pool operator is that per chain or wallets cumulative. The requirement is eight and it can be spread out across multiple wallets. So it is cumulative. For this week's leak, we did get a draft of the leaderboard. Now, I loved hearing all the guys banter about who was slower, who was faster. But the good thing about it is it shows the team's been developing it and that competitions could be around the corner. I'm excited. Let's go. All right, guys, that will wrap up this episode of Cornucopius Universe, Kopi Cafe Recap over Kopi Cafe number 92. I hope you guys enjoyed the content, and I hope to see you guys next week. Until then, stay corny.